Okay, so this is Altman in uh, his uh, booth down in Balboa Park on Sunday. And he's talking to this man. It says he was a Baptist Christian and he finds Islam. And uh, he asks him a couple questions about women in their dress. I want you to hear what he has to say. When you look at the Bible itself, you find verses about hijab, the covers, right? Let me show it to you. Right? But what happens is, in the Western society, they just they just don't do it anymore, right? They just left it. But in Islam, we stay true to it. We hold true to the word, right? Got too many uh, too many markings, but I'm gonna find it for you, bro. I got you, right? First Corinthians. Chapter 11, verses 5 to 10, in the Bible, right? But every woman who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head, and that is one and the same as if her head to be shaved. For if a woman is not covered, let her head be sworn. But if it is shameful for a woman to have her head torn or shaved, let her be covered. Right? But this is telling you to cover. But when is the last time you saw all these Christian women, who do you see covered? <laughs> okay, so uh, he didn't read the whole verse. He skipped the verse. He didn't skip, skip verse 7. And if you would have read, read verse 7, it says, A man ought not to cover his head since he is the image and glory of God. And this is the standard dress a Muslim would wear to the mosque. And it, with his head covered, he'd be violating this, this same uh, Bible verse. Man's head is not to be covered with anything when he prays in the mosque. And he would disagree with that. And then also, what it's uh, if you go down to verse 15, you would see that, uh, but if a woman has long hair, it is to her glory, for long hair is given to her as a covering. So women, when they have long hair, it's to God's glory, and it also is their covering. So if a woman would have no hair, then she would need a covering because her head was shaved, and it needed to have something like a hat or a scarf or something along that line. If you, so if, if uh, Altman knew of the Bible, he would have brought this up. In John 11, 2, it says, This Mary, whose brother, Lazarus, now lay sick, was the same one who poured perfume on the Lord and wiped his feet with her hair. So... Uh, Mary exposed her hair in public, wiped Jesus' feet with her hair, and Jesus did not rebuke her. In fact, he uh, admired her for her great faith to show that she was using ointment, very expensive ointment, to wash the feet of Jesus. Now, the hair was exposed, and Jesus did not condemn her for that, and Oatman doesn't, apparently doesn't know the story. So Genesis, there is a place where Rebecca... Uh, took a veil when she saw her future husband. So um, the veil also is used in weddings. So uh, when Rebecca got married, she wore a veil, and that is the only place in the Bible where it talks about a woman is to wear a veil. So let's hear what the, the rest of uh, Oldman has to say. This is a New Testament. It's not even like talking about the Old Testament, right? What happens is Allah honors the woman to be known as modest women by being covered. Okay, in the Quran, verse 33, verse uh, 59, chapter 33, verse 59 says this. It says that women need to be covered, veil their bodies, screen themselves completely, except for the eyes or one eye to see the way. But Allah is off forgiving, it says. Uh, so maybe that's saying that a Muslim woman should be covered and veiled, but if she doesn't, God will forgive her. That's what the Quran says. So we have Altman not understanding the Bible and not quoting the Quran. Also in Quran chapter 4, verse 34, it talks about how a wife, if she's disobedient, a man should do a couple steps, not sleep with her. First step number one. Step number two is she continues to disobey, that the husband is free to beat her. Very clear 
uh, they debate how that beating is to take place. Most jurists will say that the beating needs to be anywhere on the woman's body except her face. So also in Quran chapter 2, verse 282, it says the testimony of a woman is only half of a man, and that a woman's testimony needs to be reminded by a second woman where a man doesn't need any second witness. It show, shows that uh, the Quran is very discriminatory towards women. So we can see that Oatman is not telling this guy the full scoop about how women are treated in Islam. So Oatman, being a total deceiver, trying to get any way, any man, any person, by scheming and twisting the Bible verses and uh, basically lying about Islam and put Islam in a better light, which is very difficult to do, but he does it with his dark sunglasses and trying to woo this guy in with lies and deception about Islam. It's very dishonest. Oatman is a deceiver. He needs Jesus Christ in his life. He needs to repent and come to Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.